mic. Oh, okay. It's easier than I thought. Okay. Hi, I'm Kaylin. I'm a sophomore at Thomas Jefferson High School, and the poem I just finished like half an hour ago is called The Bathroom of the Black Lagoon. My God, I have to pee, but I have to hold it. I have to hold it. I cannot go into the dun-dun-dun public restroom. <laughs> My bladder lets me down for the third time this week, and I step into the dark, eerie space, the sound of dripping water coming from behind each of the toilets in the seven stalls, or maybe it's the people in them oppressed and hidden behind their plastic cells. A door slams as another woman enters an empty, empty, empty stall, and the smell of well, everything, hits my nose with a ferocious force unmatched by anything else. I peek into the few empty stalls to find one suitable for me. The first one is covered in a substance that is definitely not chocolate ice cream. <laughs> the second one, I see the remains of the pizza we had for lunch covering the walls in a chunky goo. And as for the third one, well, the sign on the door is clear. Do not flush feminine products. Obviously, the person who used the stall before me did not understand, and I noticed the not-so-pristine white bowl is filled with many feminine products and perhaps a masculine one floating by. <laughs> I gasp for air as the smell overwhelms me, and I step back from the stall, bumping into the wall behind me to escape the horror. Another one empties, a beast crawling on all fours emerging from behind the door. I realize it's my turn to endure the stall and I step inside, avoiding the shadows where demons hide, awaiting my free young soul. If there is any higher power, I ask that they hear me now. Why is this door so sticky? Why are there boogers lining the wall? Oh my God, is that blood? What is this substance soaking the bottoms of my shoes? What the hell did I just sit on? Why is this toilet seat wet? Maybe I shouldn't have lowered myself all the way. Why is this seat so warm? When will this nightmare end? <laughs> my bladder empties and I leap from the seat before something can grab me and pull me down the system of pipes that leads to who knows where. But as I stand, I notice it lying on the floor. Oh my God, this stall, it has been claimed. The hairpin is right on the floor. I have invaded a territory not my own, and the toilet paper is stained with the spot of toxic waste running through to the middle of the roll. I can't use this. This has also been claimed by another. Finally, my time at war is done, and I force myself to endure the acidic water as I cleanse my hands free of the bacteria. I square my shoulders and march out of the restroom, girls with looks of horror slashed on their faces as they see what I have endured. I am a survivor of the girls' public restroom.